Northwest Bus Sales. Good afternoon, everyone. Eric here, Northwest Bus Sales. Appreciate your time checking us out. All right, get a hold of this baby. What we got here, look at double decker, obviously. This is a 2009 Van Hool TD nine and a quarter, TD 925. So this is a uh, 79 passenger. And this, man, I'll tell you what, this is a good looking bus. Look at this thing, Jackie. We got Jackie behind the camera again. All right, let's check out this Van Hool. 79 passenger. It's in, and it's in, it's in good shape too, so, all right. Let's cruise inside and give it a look. You can, you can see plug style entry door, that's typical of Van Hool. Also, uh, yeah, come on in, let's give her a look. So, driver's seat is showing some wear. And some high traffic areas there, so pretty much standard. You know, this has got the same feel as your typical Van Hool. You know, you've got, uh, it's got two entry switches, entry door switches here, and uh, two plug style entry doors, climate control system over here and uh, preheater and what have you so the uh, over here light switches compartment lighting and all of that action so cruise control high idle control and then over here check out the shift pad ZF transmission this is a 12 speed I've driven this bus a few times I'm pretty pleased with the power it makes don't get discouraged by ZF I know a lot of people like to talk trash about a ZF, but man, I've driven a number of buses with ZFs, and I'll tell you what, I like them. I like them. Don't just get hung up on an Allison B500, which is nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure, but it, uh, I like the ZFs, man. It kind of feels like a, a stick almost, minus the shifting part and the clutch, but it 12-speed uh, cruises along pretty good, and uh, yeah, it's looking good. Tilt, telescoping wheel. There we go. So odometer on here, it says it's got 32,000 miles. Goodness sakes, Jack, that cannot be correct. It is not correct, so I don't want to mislead you. I have uh, plugged the uh, scanner into it and checked it out, plugged into the engine computer, and it's got, it's got right at a million miles on it, typical for a bus like this. So this bus came from the Seattle area, and, and before that, I think it came from the uh, Florida, somewhere down in Florida, I believe. Up here, panel up here, this is where you can plug in your diagnostic tools and such air ride driver's seat yeah let's cruise around in the back here let's check this out also look here's the steps we'll go up those here pretty soon also want to point out dual pane windows on these there are a couple windows that are uh well you can see they got some water in it so be mindful of that reclining passenger seats with armrests the whole shoot and match check it out oh we got some rear facing seats as well some card tables it's got a little bit of a narrow aisleway here I'm sure you could probably tell you can see it there and Jack standing right between the front wheel wells there so upholstery is in not too bad a shape I'm kind of digging it yeah uh, no overhead racks in here there's not uh, no, well actually there's no no storage on the inside of this bus so it uh, but it's got a man it's got a hell of a garage in the back I'll show you that so it, uh, goodness sakes, that light is bright, Jack. Pardon me. It, uh, yeah, right in here, restroom. Look at that. There we go. Vanity mirror, flush toilet, and you do have a couple compartments down here for your Q strains. I did forget to mention this is an ADA compliant bus as well. It's got access for two wheelchairs right here. These three rows of seats right here, they fold up and slide forward so it'll accommodate two two wheelchairs in this compartment Jackie we got the this is the ramps they look remind me of a couple of moto ramps but those things those ramps you just lay them right down here in this midship entry door real easy and you push the push the wheelchairs up there so all right let's walk up or well before we go outside let's go upstairs so there's two stairwells one up front there by the driver and one here midship as well so check it out Look at this. Look at these seats. The seats are in great shape. Bright red, armrests, tilt, seat belts, 79 passengers. Dual pane windows up top here as well. Look at that. Red vinyl seats. 
how about it you got a couple grab bars up top here the ceiling is a little low and uh, my head actually touches the top so you got to kind of bend down a little bit typical for a double decker does have some little monitors going through here showing point at those jackie the uh, video system is not working in this bus so it uh, all the seats upstairs are in good shape give me a shot of the visibility up there man tell you what it is incredible double deckers are pretty cool look at that it's got a good feel man windshield up front here is pretty good the upper front windshield man how about it I've driven these a number of times I've never actually been in one outside of driving it but I would imagine this is some primo seating right here until you come up on a low bridge right <laughs> you better duck all right all right dual pane windows like I mentioned let's cruise down this step well stairwell look grab bars going all the way up dadgum there's grab bars everywhere all right let's walk around it outside this thing's got more dadgum glass and it's got paint on it look at it you are going to see some infirmities as you cruise around this thing give them a look at this front tire yep check it out that, thing, that baby's got a ton of tread on it man i'd say that's 70 percent look at that aluminum wheels mm. also illuminator sign right here destination sign right here as well you can see where it's got where this is leaking at some point as well you can see some water stains and stuff in there there we go illuminator led sign behind there the for the most part the glass is pretty good on this thing you are going to see some paint issues right here throughout the bus i can see some scratches looks like somebody got into a tree branch a little dent there notice that window see that window up there that one has been singled out so it's no longer a dual pane so a little bit of action going down here see here a little curb shot yeah there you have it midship entry door all the glasses dual pane uh, some more body uh, some paint damage right here paint bubbling right here as well and check out the tire tread on the drive axles can you see the undercarriage there too you are going to see a little bit of rust on this thing it's not too terribly bad though it's really not so also pan the camera over there and let's let's uh, point at Joe and Kevin everybody say hi Joe Kevin look Joe won't even look at the camera <laughs> look at the tag axle now this the inner part of this tag axle tire it's got uh, it's really low on tread so be mindful of that that's gonna have to be replaced sooner than later all right check out the the back storage the garage on this look at that you got some road hazard triangles right there look at the storage man goodness sakes you can haul the mail in this dude look at that can you see that and there's side doors here too there's two or actually three over there one over on the passenger side you can see the underfloor there of the of the upper deck Yep, you got engine access panels, electrical box panels, there's a big old J box right there. Yep, this is where all, all your luggage goes. So since this is a double decker, it doesn't have, you know, the typical underfloor storage. Like most motor coaches. Battery box right in here, master switch in there. Alright, let's cruise around here, get a look at the mill. There we go. Check it out. That right there's a Cummins. Cummins M11. Like I said earlier, it's got right out a million miles on it. So considering the miles on this thing, man, it runs, runs, makes good power. Runs pretty daggum good, you know what? Look at that. AC compressor there, dual alternators. How about it? All right, coming around the driver's side. I'll tell you what, 
I'm digging the red paint, man. I really am. Yeah, I believe you can see, you can tell the bus used to be blue underneath the red. You're gonna see scuffs, dents, some small dents, dings and scratches throughout the bus. Evidence that it was previously blue. Behind here, the radiator. These are the compartments I was telling you about. These babies are locked. Yeah. So and that's to access the luggage area from the, you know, from each side of the bus. So tag tires, same, same on that. Tag tires pretty low tread on the inside. And then the drive tires. Good amount of tread on those. You see the undercarriage there. Good job, Jackie. There you go. Right in this little panel right here is a little, uh, preheater. And then you got some electrical components and such down in this lower panel as well. There's a, that lid pops up there. So you can see paint there, paint issue. You know, when the sun's hitting it just right, you can kind of see where the old logos were on this. Like I said, this come from Seattle and I think previously before that from Florida. So that would explain a little bit of rust that it's got on it, but not bad. Look at these Alcoas. Mm. I don't even know if these are Alcoas, but I call them that. Oh, no, look, it's got the Alcoa sticker. Look at that. Aluminum rims, good tire tread on the front. Glass looking good on this side. Keep in mind, there's a couple of, couple of windows that are that have some water in them in the dual pane, missing some weather stripping going up there. And then also one window on the passenger side has been singled out. So I like driving this, you know, it, it's got a different feel to it because you don't sit as high. You know, you're sitting at about, you know, normal height like you would in your pickup truck or something in this thing. But uh, since it's double, double decker, you know, the driver's sitting down lower. You're not sitting up top here like a, like a normal motor coach. But uh, anyhow, I think that'll do it on this. Windshield looks good. I did see one minor chip, rock chip, yeah, right over here. Front windshield's good. Oh, look, it's got an illuminator sign up there as well. Yep. It's got the, yeah. I'll tell you what, like I said, I've driven this. It looks good, drives good. I think, man, this is a lot of bang for the buck on this baby. So, once again, this is a 2009 Van Hool TD 925 70. Nine passenger. I keep wanting that for some reason. I had it in my head. This was an 81, but I counted the seats twice. It's 79, right, Jack? 79 passenger, ton of storage in the back. Cummins M11 ZF transmission. I like driving ZFs. I, I man, they're kind of cool. They got a different feel than an Allison B500, but man, once you get used to it, it's pretty sweet. Cruises right along, so right at a million miles on it. Appreciate your time checking us out. Uh, give us a look online, nwbus.com. Please call with any questions, 800-231-7099. Thanks. Yeah.